For many people, the term dog intelligence is an oxymoron. Dogs are known for being dumb, thanks in large part to unflattering portrayals in popular media. This stereotype is obviously unfair. Just because dogs run around in circles, slobber profusely, and drink out of the toilet on occasion doesn't make them dumb. In today's video let us have a look at top 10 dumbest dog breeds. At number 10. Basset Hound. Like the Pekingese, Basset Hounds can be a bit lazy. This could be in part to their long and low bodies or their laid-back personalities. Bassets can be a little stubborn, and like their scent hound cousins the Bloodhounds and the Beagles, Bassets might have trouble ignoring the amazing scents around them long enough to concentrate on learning. However, Bassets want to please their people and are very food motivated, so they do respond well to training. Don't mistake the Bassets easygoing personality for lack of intelligence, though. They are bright and affectionate dogs. At number 9. Mastiff. The large, laid-back Mastiff is a very chill dog. So chill, in fact, that you might think he's a little dense. They are also a bit stubborn and might be more challenging to train than some breeds. Again, activity level and ease of training aren't necessarily good indicators of intelligence. Mastiffs are actually quite bright. Due to their size and natural wariness of strangers, it's essential for owners to start training and socialization early in puppyhood so Mastiffs develop into well-behaved and discerning companions. At number 8. Beagle. Like bloodhounds, beagles like to follow their noses, which can sometimes get them into trouble, and lands them on the list of dumbest dog breeds. The beagle's sweet, affectionate nature, combined with his happy-go-lucky outlook might lead you to think he's empty-headed, but this breed is far from dumb. It's best to keep beagles on a leash. They can't resist the urge to explore, smell the world and chase small critters. At number 7. Pekingese. One reason people might think Pekingese are a little slow is the fact that they are somewhat sloth-like. At home, they enjoy lounging about and surveying their domain. This could be due to their physical build or partly held over from their history as sacred pets of the Tang Dynasty in 8th century China. In fact, Pekingese were called sleeve dogs because members of the imperial household carried their cherished companions around snugly nestled in their voluminous sleeves. Can you blame the Peak for enjoying the easy life? Pekingese are also stubborn and difficult to housebreak. This doesn't make them dumb, but it does make for some training challenges. Start training early and be consistent. At number 6. Bloodhound. If you have ever witnessed the Aurora Borealis, the colorful northern lights display that transforming the night sky into a brilliant sight to behold, you might be able to understand how a scent hound like the Bloodhound sees the world with his sensitive nose. Bloodhounds make the list of dumbest dog breeds and are hard to train because they are so distracted by all the glorious scents just waiting to be investigated. They also have a ton of energy, are stubborn and independent, and are absolutely relentless when on a scent trail. Combined together, the Bloodhound's unique skills can sometimes make these dogs challenging to live with, but enter a Bloodhound in a tracking event and watch his special talents shine. At number 5. Borzoi. Yet another sight hound, the Borzoi is an independent freethinker. This breed gets on the dumbest dog breeds list since they can also be stubborn. Training a Borzoi is an exercise in patience. Borzois seem to do best with frequent, short training sessions rather than hour-long classes. In the house, they are generally very well-mannered, calm, clean and quite affectionate, especially with their special people. At number 4. Chow Chow. Chow Chows might look like adorable teddy bears, but they are not always the cuddly type. Originally bred to be guard dogs, Chows are serious, independent and aloof. They are strong-willed and stubborn, and therefore more difficult to train, which lands them a spot on the list of dumbest dog breeds. Chows are intelligent, they just have minds of their own. If not trained correctly, Chows might challenge their humans for authority, which can become problematic. For these reasons, chows require firm but fair training and extensive socialization starting from an early age. When raised properly, chows are noble, loyal and devoted companions. At number 3. Bulldog. Another breed known for stubbornness on the list of dumbest dog breeds is the bulldog. The term bullheaded fits the bulldog to a T for this reason, bulldogs can be difficult to train, but dumb? You only have to look to one of the famous skateboarding or surfing bulldogs to see that they are definitely capable of learning. Bulldogs are also labeled as lazy, but clearly some enjoy more vigorous activities than lying on the couch. 
At number 2. Basenji. The Basenji is another sighthound that makes the list of dumbest dog breeds for his independence and aloofness. Some people describe this breed as having feline qualities, and in fact, many Basenjis will groom themselves like cats. The breed has earned a reputation for being untrainable, but again, ease of training is not always an accurate indicator of intelligence. Quite the contrary, Basenjis are intelligent, curious and playful. Like inquisitive toddlers, they are smart enough to get into trouble if you don't watch them carefully. Raising a Basenji can sometimes feel like taming a wild animal. They are watchful and wary, and although most bond with their owners, they may or may not like your friends. Bottom line, Basenjis are stubborn so they aren't consistently obedient, but they can be trained. Positive methods are best. At number 1. Afghan Hound. The Afghan Hound tops the dumbest dog breeds list according to the intelligence of dogs, but Afghan lovers surely disagree. Afghans are sighthounds, which means they were bred to hunt using their extraordinary speed and eyesight. Like many sighthounds, Afghans can be aloof, which means they can be a little standoffish and reserved, especially with strangers. They can also be stubborn and independent. Due to these traits, Afghans are not easy to train, but that doesn't mean they're dumb. They simply prefer to think for themselves and do things on their own terms. You might have to be more creative when training an Afghan, but their elegance, regal air and devotion to their humans makes them special companions.